23 December. So Kenyan people were very, very optimistic. So the most optimistic people in the world. You have now conquered your new flag, you have now a new nation. And we then had a fairly uh, democratic constitution that separated powers. So you had the legislature, you had the, the executive, you had the, the judiciary. So you had a prime minister. At that time, Kenya was independent but not a republic. The head of state was the queen of England and government. Then, uh, then we have also a devolved system of government called Majimbo. It was divided into seven Majimbos. Majimbos with Nairobi being uh, 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 designated as an extraterritorial uh, uh, county. These Majimbos were headed by presidents. They now what happened was when they were now writing the Republican Constitution, and Kenya was becoming a republic one year later, they were there, things started going wrong. They now created a president out of a prime minister who was now both head of state and head of government. So the president is one time a, a head of state living in, in state house. The same time he's also the head of government. And then the then prime minister was graduated from be, being a prime minister and becoming an executive president without going for any elections. That was in 19, 1964. 64. Then after, then they started the process of constitutional amendments. If you look at those constitutional amendments, they're all together nearly 33 different amendments. And all of them had basically the intention of removing power from the periphery to the center. So we ended up creating a very powerful center. A president, in the name of president. And the president is above the law. Could not be prosecuted. And so the presidency emasculated all other institutions of governance at that time. You find that uh, the uh, Majimbos, those, those in Majimbo was done away with an amendment so that the, the uh, Remove Majimbo and create a unitary system of government. Then they also uh, uh, remove the Senate. There was, there was, it was a bicameral house, a Senate and the National Assembly. Senate was dissolved and created just only uh, a National Assembly, that was called the Parliament. Then um, they used to have regional assemblies. The assemblies were also dissolved. And they were called local, uh, local government authorities. And they created a very powerful minister called Minister for Local Government, who was an executive minister, but here sitting in Nairobi. So those assemblies basically were powerless. And then, uh, on the other hand, the uh, came up with a, a law that controlled the media. So the media itself was muzzled, could not speak. And then they also introduced what they called Preservation of Public uh, Order Act that allowed the government to arrest and detain anybody without any trial. If you were seen as a political dissident, you'd be arrested and will be sent to the detention. And will be held in detention at the pleasure of the president. Some people spent 
Three, two years, three years, five years. Others spent up to ten years in detention. You know, they just arrest you. They take you to a police station. From there, you are taken to some room somewhere. And then an order is brought to you, a detention order signed by the Minister of in charge of internal security. That is, you have been found to have engaged in subversive activities against the Republic of Kenya. Therefore, your detention has become necessary. So you are picked up and taken. They will take you to different places. I spent years in committee prison, Shimulatora, Naivasha, Manyani, and so on. Yeah. So, this is what was happening. And that is, that went on for a long time. Until, um, then, they, they, we again came up, the, the Kenya was a multi-party system at independence. In 1969, they banned the only opposition party. Remained uh, as, as a single party de jure. Up to 1981. 1981, when we wanted to form a political party, they moved to parliament and brought uh, an amendment to the constitution, the infamous section 2A, which made the country a de jure and uh, 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 the jury single party dictatorship. That's where now the Mama Nababa started. So Mama Nababa means the Okani was the only political party. You could not uh, join any other party, and if you want to, to be allowed to run for any position, you have to get clearance from the Kanu uh, officials. If you're not cleared, you are not allowed to run. So that is where Muhammad Ababa came from. So people now outside this place of the president you go to a rally here. Mutukufu Rais, Mutukufu Rais, Jew, Jew, Jew Zaidi. <laughs> that was the end of the day. Until now we, we decided to move again to form a pressure group called Ford. And we said we are going to, uh, you know, before we formed Ford, we had said that we are going to have, because they said that Kenya was not ready for multipartism. Multipartism will breed uh, ethnicity. So we need a strong national party, Shikano. So we said that we want Kenya is ready for multipartism. And if you are the daughter, you want to go to Kamkunji and ask the people of Kenya if they are ready for multipartism. Kenneth Matiba and Charles will be made the statement. And I joined them. And we decided that we are going to have a rally at Kamkunji on the 7th of July, 1990. That's in 7th of July, that's when we became known as Saba Saba, 1990. So we were mobilizing. Matiba was mobilizing Matatus to get people to come to Kamkundi. I was mobilizing through the Ngoma here group and women to get people to come to, to Kamkundi. On the 2nd of July, Mateba and Rabia were arrested. On the 4th of July, your truly was arrested. And you were taken to detention. But when I she turned up at Kamkunji and fought the police, and many people were shot and killed at that time. Over 50 people were shot and killed that time. You are fortunate to have also witnessed a similar killing recently. But you need to know that it happened in 1990. 
uh, in July. But the Kenya spirit did not die. Matiba went there, got a stroke, came out limping, was flown to London, but his life was completely undermined. Charles Obea came out there and nearly lost his throat. He had a gone a surgery in detention. I am the one who came out strong. So we moved on. Literally, we formed a pressure group called Forward, Forum for Restoration of Democracy in Kenya. Now we are now the Young Turks. Now we have been joined by the group I mentioned to you. And we fought as the Young Turks until eventually uh, and we brought in the older generation. Jamogi, Shikoku, uh, Nani, Moliro, um, Ndenge, uh, Bamaris, and so on. So we formed Ford. And Ford now fought until eventually uh, there came now the Kamukunji 2, which you now we will see pictures on the top of the trucks. That is not in Savasaba. That was now 1991. When was in, that was October 1991. When was in July 1990. But by 1991, I had been released out of the country because they were looking for me again for, to pick me up for the fourth time. And I escaped down and I ended up in Norway. <laughs> 